Sonny Diol, it is a pleasure to have you here at the BBC. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm very happy and I'm on top of the world. I, like I'm saying everywhere, you know, I'm... Uh, I mean, when I met my dad, I said, I'm not drunk, but I'm drunk. I'm feeling that. You're because, high on life. Yeah, I'm high on life right now. <laughs> well, congratulations, Arunoda. Huge congratulations uh, on the super success thank you. of Gadder 2. I have to start by asking you, could you have anticipated that it would create the impact globally that it has? Um, not really. I mean, uh, one doesn't, but uh, somewhere in the heart, you know, something needs is going to happen because Gadar itself when it had released uh, obviously uh, the the public took it up in such a way that it became a big there was Gadar everywhere you know and uh, and over the years it has just sunk into people's hearts and all the families and the, the children are watching it you know so that film has been kind of a national family film because the values it had about the family values and the so over there in, in India every I, I, it, it becomes such a personal film that uh, Tara is every uh, the girl would want her husband to be Tara and the husband would want her wife to be Sakina you know and the way they are born together and the way they protect each other and when the difficulty comes the way Tara looks after the whole family so it has been so deep rooted in over there that I was scared to make the part two, if you ask me honestly, because it's very difficult to justify a film which has been loved by everybody so much because usually we mess it up because yeah. and we spoil the taste of the film. So that's why it took us so long. And uh, during the COVID time, uh, that's the time when the writer and the director, uh, Anil Sharma and um, Shakti Ban, they came up with this idea and... Uh, and then the COVID time, had, there was, everybody was free, so they kept on digging into it and uh, eventually we got here. And uh, coming back to your question is that, so I always felt that if people have loved that film and they've made their own film, that is their own film. So I always felt that this film, if they accept it, it'll just go anywhere near it. It will not go anywhere else. If they don't, then... First day, you're out of it. You know, you've got you're you're up against so many challenges because you're up against the fact that uh, sequels don't always tend to fare well. That's right. In Bollywood, audiences are also a little bit fed up of sequels. I would say as well. There's been a lot over the last ten years, and you kind of don't trust a sequel when you first see it's been announced. So. Did you find that you were having to convince people to give this film a chance or do you feel like the love was there right from no, the start? It was it was nothing like that. The wave had already started from before. Mm. I remember when we re-released uh, Gadar. Yeah. And uh, that's where I felt the pulse. This was two years two, ago? No, we re-released it two months ago. Two months ago? Two months ago. before the film. Okay. Uh, in, in, uh, in a couple of cinemas all over the country. And uh, the way people came up to see that film, it was household wherever it was releasing and I went and interacted with them. And that's where the wave, one could feel that they're wanting to see it. Yeah. And uh, that was the takeoff for the film. You know, for me, the greatest strength of Gadar 2 was that you were acting a man who was 22 years later than where he was left off in the first Gadar. That's right. That's you right. weren't trying to be the young hero no, from Gadar no, 1. No. And I think for a lot of people, that was a, a doubt that they had. Like, oh, is he trying to stay that guy in his, you know, mid-30s? Is he still trying to be that hero? You tell me from your perspective... What made you agree to doing this role at this point? Did you have any doubts like that? I had no doubts. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I don't believe in doubts. When I do something and I take, say I like it, and I'm very instinctive. I'm, I'm basically a sports guy, and I always feel that instincts are your actual... Is, instinct means your brain has told you so fast that you're doubting it. Don't doubt it. Yeah. You know, and uh, instinctively I liked it and I was very, and uh, I kind of enjoy things, you know, uh, and the people say, you know, this is what people want. I said, no, it is what you like is what you have to put across over there and they're going to like that. If you're going to try and say, you yeah, know, they're going to like something like this or they're going to like something like that, then... I mean, why the hell are you doing it? I mean, they have seen you and they want to see what you want to give the out to them. They don't want to know what you, they like and you're going to put that all that uh, ingredients over there. No. Because there was a risk that you would just try and recreate exactly what you did 22 years ago, playing the same character at the same time. Because unfortunately, Bollywood also has a reputation 
for not giving actors roles appropriate to their age, for making them behave like they are 20, 30 years younger, like they are invincible on screen. And that's not what you're doing in Gadda 2. No, it's not that. You see, basically, I mean, to me, cinema is entertainment. I go to see a cinema is over there. I'm not trying to see logic. I'm not trying to see uh, how authentic is it. That's all around me. I'm not coming. I'm not paid money to come over there and see all that. I'm coming to cinema hall to get lost and enjoy, dream something, and see something which makes my uh, adrenal go high and emotionally uh, it chokes me. That's what I go to cinema for, and especially silver screen. That's what it is, and that's what is required over there. Uh, people. You know, we have critics and we have all that. I'm not, we're not making films for critics. We're making it for public. We're making it for people who want to come and see over there. And, uh, and uh, that's something which uh, I feel people don't seem to understand who come in between, who try to say, analyze. I said, don't analyze. Don't be a doctor. Don't be anything. Go enjoy the film. If you liked it, he liked it. It's like when you go to a restaurant. If you don't like that food, you don't go there. You, go there. you can't criticize. Say if it's a Punjabi food, you can't say this is not Punjabi food or this and that and all that. You're going to have to eat that food. But do you, you, know? do you think it's okay to discuss films? Because when you watch a film, the, the whole purpose of cinema is to start conversation about but something. See, cinema is like when you're younger, your parents would narrate you a story and you want to hear it. Do you understand? But you take a moral from that yeah, story, because, right? Because they're always telling you stories where there are some morals into it. Yeah. They're always telling you stories where there's some fear, there's, then, there's a, then there's some kind of a princess or there'll be some kind of a king or something or the other. There's always those kind of stories which we hear and we want to hear that because uh, it feels nice. We know it doesn't exist. But inside it feels nice so there's no point discussing about that yeah so you don't, you, i mean if you yeah. go to, if, if you're a student then we're trying to say the cinema should be like this and let's discuss uh, let's do a thesis on this let's do ah oh, man the we're t world is tired of all that if you got talent just move ahead enjoy it enjoy your life because, that's what i would say basically because i i enjoyed a lot about gadda too and there was things i want to discuss with you as well so i want to i want to talk about the things i really enjoyed first you are fire on screen man thank you you are absolutely <laughs> Absolute fire on screen and the rush, the adrenaline rush that the audience felt watching you on screen was unparalleled. Like people were clapping and cheering and this is here in the UK where you don't really get that reaction yeah. in the cinema. How nice was it to see audiences reaction and be able to say, yeah, man, I still got it. <laughs> I'm telling you, when it started off I, I, on the 10th, uh, the film was releasing on the 11th and 10th, we had got already, you know, we knew the box office was rolling, the advance bookings were going high. Everybody was talking about it. And uh, in the evening, I remember, and that's the day where, uh, where Z and Sony got merger happened. Everything was happening. You know, and I was going home, and I was in the car, I was, uh, and I was stuck in the traffic, and I I don't know what I was feeling. I was just kind of you know the I just felt really the God is within me because I was just my whole energy has sunk down, and I was crying and I was laughing, and it's it's very difficult to describe that feeling. It was as if you you know I don't drink, but I've had a uh, had a shot or two where you get all like that's how I was feeling, you know, and I was saying. Wow, whomever was meeting and they could see tears in my eyes. I'm laughing, I'm hugging them. And uh, that's the feeling I had when the film was released. When was the last time you felt like that after a I film? I think it's been donkey's years. I don't even remember. Really? <laughs> really? 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 Because I was thinking, you know, a lot of people are talking about how this is your highest grossing film in just such a few amount of days. Yeah. It's become your biggest hit. We know that your previous films were massive well, hits. Yeah, and yeah. you've said yourself that you think that they were even bigger hits. Yeah, but the, Gadar, the uh, earlier Gadar which had come, that was a massive hit. But yeah. that time we didn't have datas and all those things. Yeah. But it was far more than what this film was. Because I just wonder from your perspective, you know, you're in your mid-60s, you don't lie about your age, you're very open about it. To see yourself generating that kind of reaction from a youth audience in the cinema, that must be quite fulfilling. It is because it, it, eventually, what is it? It's love. <laughs> it's just love and the appreciation they have. And, and definitely that is with the kind of work I've done over the 40 years and the kind of cinema I've given out over there and the characters which I portrayed. And so many of my films, we never, I mean, we don't even know what's going to happen to them, but we do our best and uh, with the, we, we do our best while working over there. And then rest, we leave it to the, uh, what has happened, what do, what's going to happen with them. And, uh, most of my films, uh, like Arjun, then Gadar, I mean, Gadar, uh, before that, Border, 
Gail, Gartek, Gartek. There's so many of them. Damini. Damini. They just became started becoming iconic, and uh, we had no idea they would be like that. And so I just feel I'm I'm uh, I'm blessed. Uh, there's some kind of a thing which. Uh, People, I'm connecting with them, and they seem to be because basically, I'm. A, uh, I believe in honesty. I just believe that just be honest and do hard work. Things come, things go, but uh, 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 what we have, what I've gathered from my family and what I've gathered from my granny, grandfather, and we, everyone, you know, is to be is to be honest. I know honest path is the most difficult path because uh, uh, the world is not like that. But then there are so many thousands of people who are like that but uh, if you have chosen that part you can't choose any other part because you don't know how to do that and uh, so I just feel it's very I, I'm very happy it's because it's satisfying that you know eventually so much of hard work over the years and years and years I've been fighting I always say that when my got the release after that actually my struggle started what do you mean by that uh, before that, I was I, I had no issues, and after the other releasing, I was not getting much work. I was things were not happening the way they should when it was a most appreciated film of the century, and but it was not happening. So I don't know. So I just went, but I never gave up. I carried on and on why, and on. Why do you think that was happening? At I that think time? the whole world started changing. The uh, Hindi film industry started turning into what we call it Bollywood now. And the uh, corporates came in and it was uh, every quarterly and, and then the whole structure started changing. I think they and, didn't uh, know what to do with you. Like they didn't know what Maybe sort of film no, I, I to make not, for you. Yeah, I was not getting any good uh, projects coming up. Nothing, nothing was happening. Uh, but then, I, I suppose. But uh, I mean, right now I can I can talk about it. But uh, definitely, when I look back, I say I was I was trying to do things, but it was not happening. And at the same time, I'm existing because of the kind of work I have done. Otherwise. I don't see myself existing because I hadn't done any great film after that, you know, anything which would would, would, would be uh, popular cinema, I would say. You know, if you ask the average audience member, they would never have known that you were going through a period of struggle at that time because in their mind, you took... People think that you took a step back from cinema. <laughs> you know, people think that you took a step back. You only worked on home productions like yeah. Apne or Yamla Pagla Divana. Yeah, no, that, was there. that was there because... Uh, I mean, if you'll see my career graph from beginning to now, uh, till right now, I've never worked with studios. I've never worked with big, big people, so-called big, big people, because uh, somehow, I don't know why, I, they they had some, I, I didn't relate with them or they didn't relate with me, I have no idea. So I've worked with a lot of new young people and worked with a lot of upcoming people who wanting to, because I used to see a drive in them, wanting to prove something. So I used to be, more attracted towards them and they would get attracted to me because I was ready to be with them. So, you know, so that's the kind of cinema I kept doing and uh, went over the period of years and years and years. And now I, when I look back, I see all those people whom I worked with and they're there. They're so happy for me because uh, they actually know, okay, you know, uh, because the cinema started just, you know, off late we was just basically picking, I'm not trying to run anyone down because that's the way the world is running anyway. India is running. But uh, most we were just simply picking things up from everywhere and compiling it and throwing it across throwing it across there was no kind of a creativity happening you so know? you know the work that you did in the last 10 15 years even were you satisfied with that work well i did uh, whatever i did i i, I mean satisfied means uh, i basically even if i if i look at my even gather when i've done it i may not be satisfied with so many things i've done in it Right, so many things because uh, I've not even watched the whole film as yet. You haven't watched Gadda no, too, yeah? No, not, okay. no, not completely. Okay, but that's that's me because many times you know my films which I do we dub and we go through things. You've gone through it so much that um, certain things are irritating you and still you're doing it and you're trying to do it and you're fighting. You know, I, I wish we hadn't done this there and we had done this over a year. Uh, you know, that's an argument we're doing, which obviously when it comes on the screen, nobody knows yeah. what we were trying to do. They're just seeing the film the way it comes to them. You yeah. know, so I most of the time. I destroy myself a little bit like that so and I'm not seeing it much but when I see my films after 10-15 years on YouTube or somewhere I said that was not bad why the hell was I like that that time you're, you're too close to it at yeah, that you're, time you're, you're too close to it you're too close to it you know the reason I ask you that and um, I've never heard you speak like this in an interview before where you talk about this period of struggle after Gadar because Actually, your brother, Bobby, who I've interviewed as well, he has spoken very openly about yeah. his struggle. Yeah. And he's spoken very openly about how streaming helped rejuvenate his career. And, you know, he worked in Race 3 and he did a bunch of work that really helped boost his profile once again. You've never spoken about 
Uh, no, not really. I haven't. Uh, I haven't. Why? Why haven't you? I. I mean, maybe now I'm just saying that because now, you know, I'm feeling happy about it. Uh, so one can look back and say, you know, it was like that, but I'm so happy now. And uh, so one doesn't, you know. And I like to forget. I, I don't remember much. I mean, I, I mean, you know, everybody has goods and bads, you know, and they keep creeping about the bads, you know, and they they don't look at the goods they have had. So I'm a kind of a guy who prefer to forget the bads. and remember the goods and cherish them and move ahead because everyone goes through the process it's not that oh me it's nothing like that it's with everyone it's the same the world is like that but the reason i think it's so good that you are talking like this is because for a lot of people you are the epitome of a macho punjabi man you know you are the epitome of a strong uh indestructible punjabi man So to hear you say that even you've had periods like struggle will be inspiring for a lot of men who no, don't is. feel like they can talk. No, I mean I mean uh, the strength is when you the way you handle your weak weak moments of life. That is a strength, not buckling down, not doing anything. And uh, God has been given me that energy, you know, if even if things go worse to us, I don't compromise. I don't let go of it. I say no, I'm just going to ca- carry on. And definitely I'm the eldest in the house, so obviously bada beta hai to zimmedariyan sari meri hi hai. Te and I I never knew, but holy uh, holy holy, I became like a uh, anybody ha I'll do that, don't worry. Anybody say something ni mai kar danga, kar danga. I never never and and uh, it's not that I'm trying to do it. I enjoy doing it. I like it. I like doing something if I can give somebody happiness. I'm selfish. It makes me happy. But does it have an impact on you? Like, you know, your cuz does it have an impact on the way you feel if you're constantly pleasing everybody else? Do you get to please yourself? I, I my, my journey is my pleasure. My journey is uh, I, you know, I I'm uh, I'm a basically a Pindu guy if you ask me frankly. I'm not a, I don't like cities much. Uh I'm more uh, like to be with myself and I'm happy. uh i go to uh, i often i go a lot to himachal because there's a village i got a lot of villages and i stay in those villages and my house is right in the end of it and uh, it reminds me of my younger days when uh, i used to go to pend and uh, you know the way it was because uh, somehow you know uh, the what what pend and the way of life i used to lead when i was younger in punjab all those things have changed i don't get to see that anymore so it kind of disturbs you you know because janama it the uddan di gali hai ni ithe ghar ta todte inna ne iddan de banate you just want them to be you know <laughs> like it was like it was like, like when you go to the uk or europe anywhere yeah. you see the same things over there and and it just feels i don't know it, it just makes you feel so happy about it yeah. you know it just it doesn't feel that things have just disappeared how many times over the years have you felt like you're out of place in bollywood because the way you're talking about the life that you love the lifestyle that you love is not the lifestyle of a bonafide bollywood hero for 40 years. Well, I was never part of it from that point of view. I always led my own life. I always always done things that I wanted to. I never went out to please people. I just did things what I feel like and I've, that's why people would think I'm arrogant, I'm rude. I used to be honest what I felt and I would be if I don't like something I'm feeling uncomfortable I would just voice it straight away. It's best to be saying it rather than keeping it yourself know, and, and acting. Oh, no, 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 very good. Ji, ajo, 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 ji. It's you know it's just simply which you see most of the time everybody's just hugging and hugging each other and and there's no respect uh, basically genuine respect a person have you know and uh, in bollywood in any way it's not just bollywood i just see that because uh, it's all, close to home yeah yeah it's everywhere it's the same thing you know in every field i remember you saying to me the last time we met which was in mumbai you said to me that you are so glad that you're not making your debut now when your sons are that's acting. That's right. That's right. You said it's much harder for it them is. today. It is. It is. It than is. it was for you. It is. It now is. your younger son is making that's his right. debut as that's well. That's right. That's right. How scared are you for him through this process? Oh, uh, well I've gone through the process with my elder son and uh, I've come to terms with the point that uh, it's a journey where a child like I was there I had to make my journey a father can help you to make something but after that it's your journey he cannot get into you and take your journey ahead so that's what the reality is but then i f- i can understand what my father would have felt when i was <laughs> the when age. you were making your debut yeah. so now i can see it you know because bachche thode pyare hunde hain thode dil de neede hunde hain tusi nahi chande unna nu thodi bhi thes hove and ohde karke aap bachche nu bahut protect karke rakhde hain 
you know and we protect them so much that uh, uh, the world outside is not that what is in your house so i just feel that, that i would advise everybody uh, i mean obviously most of them do that anyway we are basically a little bit more protective is that let the child like how uh, that's what i like about the societies abroad you know the uh, the foreign culture the way they let the kid go out after 18 and let him go out and make his world because that's the world he has to live, face basically but you know sunny you know this industry better than most it is a family business you know you are very much part of that world and you can you can see how much it can hurt a young individual as well when it that's doesn't right. go the way that's right. you want it to you know you made pal pal dil ke paas with so much love for your son it didn't go the way you wanted it to that's right would you still advise your younger son to still try and pursue a career in an industry that is not the most secure i wouldn't i can't advise uh, like my you know bachche nu jab bhi advice karo to unna liye medicine ho jandi hai you know they don't yeah. they don't like to swallow it <laughs> it's a bit of pill to swallow it, it, yeah it's a bit of pill to swallow so I, and i i know I, i went through the process so i just uh, and then at the same time i feel you know life is a journey they have to go through it and they have to find the path and uh, i'm very sure they will and it will be i mean i'm it is uh, difficult right now is because so much of social media so much of so many things keeps happening and people are so uh, hung on that uh, social media that you know that starts affecting them a lot and uh, i i'm not I never bothered about it if there's somebody would put comments i would just shut the comments off because i'm not interested <laughs> But you are, you're a strong man with a lot of experience. Your children are young in a different generation altogether. I know, but they, they are grown up with, this, with, mm. with us all around. So they know what it is. And, uh, and they desire to be actors. That is what they want to be. So let them go ahead and uh, let's see where and what happens with them. And, but I'm very positive about them. Because I know, I know what they are trying to do. I know what they I know what they are trying to do and why they are doing it. And uh, I'm very sure they will achieve to what point, uh, to what heights and where, which level. I have no idea. But I feel they will because one of them is hard work hai, and they've not come here to become stars they 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 want to be actors yeah you can see even from the yeah. way they behave in public yeah. they're not trying to, to be this, stars no, no, they want to become they, they love the they, they love this profession of acting which what that's what i did i i, I love this i love this and that's what they want to be they're not interested in anything else and uh, and if the work is good and they picked up properly and if uh, people like the work then obviously then you become whatever you become but still they'll always be wanting to be good actors but you know the big difference the big big difference is when you made your debut 40 years ago in betab the world could not wait to see what dharam ji's son would be like on screen and today the world cannot wait to shoot down somebody who is the son that's or right. daughter of a famous that's, person that's right that's right that's the big difference that right that is the, that is the difference that is the difference and how do you deal with that then as the father of somebody about to make their Ooh. debut <laughs> well you have to deal with it how you deal is not the thing but you just have to deal with it you have to accept it you have to accept this is the this is uh, this this uh, this kind of tsunami is going to be hitting you and you have to go through that and uh, if you're tough and strong you'll go through it if not you'll just fall back so it's it's an individual thing you know coming back to gather two now like i said there's lots that i really enjoyed i love the drama of it i love the romance of it i really like the the romance between the younger couple as yeah. well i thought it was really beautifully done the music's really strong as well but here in the uk when i told my friends that i was going to watch gather two the first thing that they said to me is why are you going to watch gather two isn't it going to be an anti pakistani film that was the first thing you know here in the uk Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshi, Sri Lankans, they all live happily in harmony. How do you respond to people who might think that this film is an anti-Pakistani See, film? See, uh, what is happening is, you know, um, this thing uh, which we have grown to from since the partition where there has been kind of this uh, hatredness with one another. Uh, it is something which has started off around way back from 47 onwards, you know. And... Uh, uh, I mean, what has happened has happened and what is there is there. Then obviously, you know, I always say that, you know, uh, it's basically a political thing mostly. It's not actually the people, who, genuine people, because end of the day, we have to do it. We don't want 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 to do it. But 
uh, and again, the film, you know, because there has to be a villain, there has to be a hero, there has to be, that's how the, how the way the story is. So obviously, uh, and even you'll see that throughout the film, which are very, whenever I portrayed my characters, I never run anybody down because I don't believe in running people down or anything. Because that's, and Tara Singh is not that kind of a person. Tara apne sardara na siga kara ke, you know. So he's not that kind of a character. And uh, that's what cinema, I, I believe in cinema, what it is. Yeah, but there are certain times, some certain films which are basically on that because uh, like I did Border, that was a war. And, and, and uh, whatever we spoke over there, what was given to us was actually brought down by the army because those things were being spoken around. They all know what is happening here and there. So the dialogues and things were given to us from there. Okay, so that is what they know, the soldiers, that they, it has happened over there. But then people pick it up in a very different way and uh, take it personal. Obviously, everybody would take it personal when they feel it's something against me or me, somebody, anybody who's going to do that. But then they should just say that, look at the cinema. It's just, it's not trying to do something which is trying to affect this side or that side. That's not what we are. We are global. We are for everyone. But uh, then the way it is read and the way it is spoken by certain sectors of people, then they start doing that. Then that wave starts coming. Then those thoughts start coming into people's mind. And then they start looking at it from that point of view. But majority of them don't do that. You know, it's I, just a few handful of them which, which start and uh, make the waves happen all the time. I think it's a, a fear. It's a fear that people have, particularly in the UK, that there has been a wave of Bollywood movies in the last few years that have been heightened on patriotism, have been, and not patriotism, because patriotic films are absolutely fine, right? But jingoism, like a heightened sense of nationalism in, in films. And that's why I think there is some people who might consider going to watch Gudder 2, but might think, oh, I don't want to sit through another movie like that. What do you say to those people? Well, you know, you can't please everyone. And you cannot uh, tell everyone, go ahead and do it. Because no matter, even if it's not Gudder, it was some other film, everyone is not watching that film. You know, there's only a certain sector who feel, I like the trailer, I want to watch it. And uh, that's the way the cinema is going to be. And there'll be people who will hate it. There'll be people who love it. They have their own reasons for that. And that's why it is left open. But when we start debating is when we start, you know, trying to underline certain things which we should not be underlining. Because I think, I think the film actually has quite a fair representation. And I, and I, I say that as somebody who reviews movies as well. I know you don't like critics, but I, I wouldn't describe myself as a critic, but I, I review films and it's I think... It's not that I don't like them. I would just ask them, you know... Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why run something down? Because there's no such thing as a thesis of how the film should be made or not made. It's a story which is being said across over there. And that story has to be said the way it is. So watch the film as a story the way it is. Don't try to... Because that's what people... We go to see the film. We're not trying to see it from any other point of view. I'm trying to be entertained yeah, that's, by the movie. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what it is for. That's all it is for. So I think that there were some really nice uh, characters from both sides of the border in Gadar. You know, I think Muskan's family is really yeah, nice yeah. and that Masi that he meets yeah, yeah. is really nice. And, you know, there, it, there are a lot of elements of peace. The things that worry me are the climate that this film is made in is very different to when the first Gadar was made. Was made, yeah. This Gadar is made in a very politically tense climate. That's right. You know, we're talking about a time where uh, people's religious identity is under question at points. No, it may be questioned. You know, everybody is questioning too many things, you know. And in reality, you know, we all want peace, you know. And uh, nobody wants all this thing to happen. But it's high time the politics started seeing the world not from votes point of view because everybody does it for the sake of votes they rather take it this is country means it's a company country is a company which has to be run like all multinational companies you know but you are part of the politics as well though right well, i have I, I i i i am part of it but everybody has his own view when whatever you are and what you feel about it i wouldn't like to discuss it because it would offend or it may people may like it or people may disturb it or people would say it from all different kind of things that's not my idea you know uh, it's my experience i know what it was and how it is and what i'm going to do ahead in my life but in reality wise i always feel that you know uh, 
we should take our country on a whole as a company rather than because we have fought our freedom we are free now so what are we fighting for we are all free so let us make our home a nice home rather than you know uh, try and find things from how do we get votes no that's not what we want i'm not talking about from one party i think all the parties everywhere they just want to fight 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 and what are they doing they're not progressing the country they are, they i mean our job is whether i'm in opposition or whether i'm here or anywhere i should see what is coming out over there is it good for the people is it good for the country and be majestic enough and go along with it rather than you know this is not right and wrong do you think films have the power to influence the way people think and the reason i ask you that is because in the movie one of the things that did concern me was that every time that the villain is committing uh violence there is like a the kalma is being read in the background or there is an allahu akbar that is said in the background or there is some sort of religious imagery in the background before the villain commits a horrible act of violence and i just thought is that really necessary in a climate where religious tension is at play already see again like i would say don't take this film so seriously and uh, if you ask me frankly there's a lot of rubbish happening on the digital platform there's so much of the news channels where they talk so much of rubbish which is affecting everything you know it's all happening everywhere but cinema comes there for an entertainment it's not coming from any other point of view and then obviously uh there's an exaggeration in a cinema because that's how we want the characters to be if they are not exaggerated we don't enjoy it because if a person is bad we want to say no he is bad if a person is good we want to see the person good and that's certain sector of cinema there's certain se- sector of cinema where they will try to make it in a way where you leave it everything gray you know and then we make other films where we will do no family values <laughs> we'll do any damn thing isn't that destroying the again a thing over there you know but Uh, cinema was always for entertainment is you go in you come out you forget you move ahead but it could influence people yeah i, I mean uh, cinema influence is the characters which influence i i feel i'm responsible as an actor to do characters which will be effective for the children which will affect that because i had no idea when i was younger i was the kind of films i was doing like arjun dakat yatim and all those things that time this cinema was not being made they were amit ji and dad and all they were doing manmohan desai were doing another cinema and then i was with this, this kind of film films which were coming around over there which yeah. were never existed but you became a youth hero because of that because that's what i believed in yeah you know so i brought in all that and slowly slowly as the time went by i had no idea i was i was influencing the youngsters out there but i was influencing them on the good side on the positive side your characters were doing some bad things as well running away from home rebelling in love rebelling but they were, they, <laughs> they were fighting they were fighting for the honesty they were not they were not they were not going away from what a person should stand for is is to be honest and go along with it sure. whether he's rebelling or anything that's but stick with it and be honest about it that's why whenever i meet many people many kids i meet many parents i meet they say my son saw that film and he took this profession and the the kids will come sir we saw that film of yours and I'm, i joined the army sir i did that thing and I, was, i stopped doing these kind of things i'm doing this so then i started realizing we are influencing them and uh, i was I, i just feel i i've always influenced things which are on the good side i've never tried to do i've never played characters uh, which are not positive mostly because that's how i believe you know you have the worst of the worst condition fight get up and move ahead in life you have to respect your mother you have to respect your brother you have to respect your sister you have to respect your friends you have to respect your neighbors you have to respect everyone and if there's something comes in between over there you have to stand for it and somehow unknowingly or knowingly i've been working with those kind of characters over the over the period of time and obviously there are characters where you become a bad guy because you're fighting the system because the still system is so bad you know so somehow i've been doing those kind of films and uh, somehow i feel whenever i go anywhere the way the kids and the youngsters meet me they see something positive in me and i feel i'm i'm rubbing positivity out there you know you mentioned your family just then The Deal family is killing it at the box office right now because it's not just you in Gadar 2 <laughs> it's your dad in Rocky or Rani ki prem right, kahani That's right How has this right. ever happened before that both you and your dad are in two separate films that are both blockbusters at the box office Well when I started my career 
डैड फिल्म नौकर बीवी का हैड रिलीज टू वीक्स बिफोर दैट ओके प्री मच द सेम सिचुएशन इट हैड रिलीज एंड टू वीक्स आफ्टर दैट बेताब के बे वाओ एंड देन आई रिमेम्बर माय डैड सेइंग दैट यू नो दैट डैड हैज गॉट दैट आउटफिट इज सिटिंग ओवर देयर एंड देन माय फिल्म इज ऑन द अदर साइड ही इज सेइंग ओ थेनी थे भी आ जाओ सो व्हाट आर थिंग्स लाइक एट होम राइट नाउ विद योर डैड सेलिब्रेटिंग विद यू सेलिब्रेटिंग आई आई इमेजिन अ होल फ्लोरिस शॉप इज ओपन नाउ यू आर सेंडिंग फ्लावर्स यस it's just lovely and it's beautiful my dad is so so happy for me seeing my dad happy i don't need anything more after that and he's so happy okay that's you seeing your dad happy you seeing your dad kiss shabana azmi on screen that's well, a- my, my dad can do anything <laughs> <laughs> that is a jatu blood that is that is my dad <laughs> and i heard and I, he gets away with anything <laughs> the audiences are lapping it up it. they're, they're loving it, it they're for loving sure him. they love him how nice was it seeing your dad just having fun on screen as well because he gets to do this wonderful romantic medley on screen he's having fun he's smiling how nice was it just to see him in his element on the big screen after so long i haven't seen the film but i've seen the bits and pieces on the on the youtube here and there and i have heard from dad he was very excited when he was doing the film because he loved that character which he was portraying yeah. he was very sure about it and uh, It is great. I mean, it's great. I mean, here there's my dad. Here they have, fortunately, have a good success. And now my son is following after this, and then after that, my brother Bobby's film Animal is coming. So wow, wow. it is a full deal year, isn't it? It's a full <laughs> takeover as well. Yeah. Uh, how do you follow this up now? How do you follow up Gadar Two with something that I'm very sure now I'll follow up everything rightly because uh, I don't know. Somehow I feel very confident about what I need to do next. I'm very positive because uh, I know I need to I need I need to give people good cinema. I need to give them Hindi cinema. Uh, I'm not so much Bollywood Bollywood. I feel we need to do Hindi cinema and um, and uh, people want that. I, you can see the audience wants them kind of something which is which is rooted to what we are and uh, So I have a lot of subjects in my mind. I've got a lot of things in my mind which I want to do. You you've said that you're not producing anymore. I'm not going to produce. Why? Because I go bankrupt. <laughs> But you know, I thought I thought Gael Two was really good. I really enjoyed. You produced Gael Two, right? That's right. I directed I, and produced it. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really I good. I know, but 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 you see what is happening. You know, it's very difficult to. Uh, the world has become very difficult. You know, um, years back I I could control things because the distribution distribution was. normal there were people whom we would interact the distributor the, the the exhibitors there was a connection ever since the corporates have come in there's nothing the things have just uh, their just shares are going up or down there's no kind of a that uh, that thing is not there and for an individual to stand tall over there is difficult because you have to do your pr you have to run around and and they will not give you number of theaters they will not give you uh, they will not help you you know they don't want anything which is there individually to be there and uh, i had a tough time with all that and with all my films uh, after that in this uh, this far past one decade because i was trying to do certain cinema but somehow i could not bring it across with that uh, is it the backing easy. from people yeah it is it is it is it is so then i decided you know uh, as an actor I'm more there and that's what I came in for as a then I became a producer then I became director I said I put, put on too many caps you know and a man can only do one job so I said throw everything away get back to your acting and uh, and that's what I want to do now I just want to do as many films as I can and forever and ever and ever well you are exceptional in Gadar too thank you so much thank for your you. time today thank sunny you. congratulations on 40 years in the movies as thank well thank you very much august marks 40 years since the right. dab release that's right on my last question to you is can you summarize this 40 year journey in just a couple of sentences ha huh, how do i say that uh i came into the industry like a picnic i was i was enjoying everything things were beautiful and uh, there was no challenge of you know i used to do a film and then we used to move another film there was not kee lagi or success we and and the and the world has started changing and so i've, I've seen so many uh, things change over the period of time and uh, i stood there all because uh, the kind of work i've done and the kind of love and affection the 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 audience has given me and that's my strength and uh, 
I had uh, I was always worried in the last few years because I could not connect with them somehow with uh, a cinema which would relate to them and uh, here came my brother <laughs> and I I've related with them again and that's giving me confidence that uh, there are many more years to do go ahead and uh, and uh, I thank my audience for it and uh, I promise them I'll just give them cinema which they love and uh, and I'll always be honest you know what? I see a lot of disbelief in your eyes. It's almost like you still haven't woken up and accepted <laughs> that Gadar 2 has become this huge hit. I see like a, a level of like, is this for real? It is. It's all real and you deserve it all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.